The Indian Premier League is here. It's the biggest T20 league in the world and the most intensely contested one. And of course, a couple of teams have been more successful and there are some who haven't even won the title once. Now, who are the top contenders? How do the teams look? Who hold the cards? We've got you covered here. So, today we're previewing five teams, the remaining five tomorrow. And as you expect, our preview is slightly offbeat. We would do the usual. We won't do the usual. We have a unique preview coming your way. So, let's start with the first team. This is, of course, the Mumbai Indians, one of the most successful franchises. And of course, it's the start of a very unique season with their very, very successful captain, Rohit Sharma, not at the helm of affairs. Hardik Pandya has his hands full. His role will revert to that of a lower order batter, not what he had done with the Gujarat franchise just before. So a lot will also depend on how he switches up and hits the ground running. So time for our breakdown of Mumbai. The first one, who's the old war horse who could light up this season? How can we speak of Mumbai and not mention Rohit? He is the old war horse who has somehow revamped his demeanour, his batting. A lot depends on how he will keep that captaincy cap to the side and deliver with the bat. And don't get me wrong, he is still the leader in the ranks, but somehow this balance act has to be achieved. Rohit too has traversed through that batting lineup, partnered with so many different batters the world over. But this year at the top with Ishan Kishan, who's himself been under fire, his role could be more serious to bring that sanity to the Mumbai batting lineup. Next up, King of the Jungle. Now, I couldn't think of anyone other than Jaspreet Bumrah. Again, it's someone who has played with this franchise for a long time now practically grew up here and is one of the senior most hands in this particular franchise. He's another leader of the pack. If Rohit leads the batting, Jaspreet heads the bowling. There have been a few injuries here in his department, so the responsibility on his shoulders is immense. Mumbai missed him last year and they can't wait to see him back at his intimidating best. Next up, it's a perfect segue to the new Cub on the Block. Quina Mafaka set the Under-19 World Cup on fire and has actually come in as a replacement for injured Sri Lankan pacer Dilshan Madhushanka. I was going to pick his senior compatriot Dewal Brewers, but Maf Mafaka is all of just 17 and that just seemed quite the story. But this tearaway South African has been the talk of the town and what do you know, he's in the franchise whose lead bowler he absolutely adores. Mafaka in fact even broke records and if given a chance, there will be a great experience curve for the youngster to learn from. Either ways, a talent to watch out for. And finally, Busy Bee. No surprises here. Surya Kumar Yadav keeps himself busy at the crease, the 360 degree player. When he does come into the 11, he will look to attack and give that extra support to Hardik Pandya in the middle order. He was instrumental in Mumbai's turnaround last year, and much is expected from him once he returns post the rehab. So now he how he gets going will be interesting to observe. The next team, of course, that we're looking at is Kolkata franchise. Again, under the spotlight for various reasons. One being the return of Shreyas Ayer. The captain has been caught in the middle of a storm. Regarding his apparent standoff with the Indian cricket board, his back spasms and now, of course, being declared fit to play and lead. Enough problems on his plate too, with firepower in Jason Roy missing, Will it be Rahmanullah Gurbaz and India's Venkatesh Iyer at the top, both having had great seasons last year? But yes, let's get down to it then. And first up, the old war horse. A left field choice for me here. Gotham, who was more Gambhir, that means just a little serious and intense while he was with the Lucknow franchise, is back home to where he belongs. It's where he won IPL titles with. He's happy. He feels in charge. And making statements like he's, he didn't bring success to the team, but the team made him successful leader. Gotham Gambhir, that's some goose bumpy speech. Kolkata definitely needs some magic and they will look to the dugout for some from Gotham Gambhir. Next up, of course. I'm going with Suya Sharma for this one. He actually has been a key component in their bowling attack. He's 20 years old and has played the support cast to the senior, more experienced Sunil Narayan. 
He had a fabulous 2023, though his side did not quite live up to some of the heroics that they exhibited. The leg spinner from Delhi clearly has the faith of the entire Kolkata team management. They're invested in him. And after his solid performance in the inaugural season, where he picked up three wickets in the very first game, there is again much expected from Suyash. Rounding it off here with the last of our picks for this side, King of the Jungle. Well, we cannot look beyond Mitchell Stark, can we? Some of the Aussies, thanks to the superlative show in India at the World Cup, were great picks at the auction and Stark in particular went for the big bucks. The highest paid player in the league history is going to have to pay back in the form of wickets and quite a load of them. Stark has not been a permanent fixture in the T20 league, we know that. Injuries were, were one of the reasons, as well as him wanting to focus on national duty. That's made him miss a few seasons, but this time, all eyes will be on this tall, lanky pacer. And can he get the success his wife, Alisa Healy, has not been able to in the women's league? Now, I've saved the best for the last with Busy B. Can I pick anyone other than the most talented Maverick with the bat and a southpaw to boot? So rare this one. Rinku Singh, Kolkata will always remember his heroics against Gujarat in the last edition. He made the most memorable co contribution with that unbelievable cameo to take them home and has slowly become that finisher India is looking toward. He's diligent, comes from the most humble beginnings, had a solid season for the Kolkata franchise and has been in form ever since, especially in the Indian setup. Our next team on the decode list, Delhi. They have never been crowned champions, but have of course come close. Either ways, it's a team that has loads of firepower, but somehow I have failed to cross the finish line. We'll start with the old Warhorse. David Warner steals the spot. No surprises here. He is their talismanic batter. A lot of impetus on him to deliver at the top of the order. And with no pressure from national duty, having announced his retirement just recently, Warner can focus on the job at hand. Next up, of course, is King of the Jungle. Now, I had to go with Rishabh Pant. They took their time in watching him, being with him through recovery, spent some days at the net sessions, and then, of course, came the announcement of him being made the captain. So there has been a lot of thought put in here. And just going by how much Pant has done over the last year to get back to cricket, this season, he could truly make it his. Let's swiftly, of course, move on to the next category of our decode. We are moving through Delhi rather quickly. It's time for Busy Bee. Now, another Aussie in here, and not surprising, when an Aussie holds the mantle of this franchise and under Ricky Ponting, Mitchell Marsh will look to build on to the momentum and confidence he's getting from the Australian dressing room, where he has been made skipper of the T20 format. He will hopefully get that experience here and shine. We are, of course, next moving to the team Hyderabad. Let's get down to it very quickly and let's start with the old war horse. It's an emotional pick, this one, for me. I have, uh, of course, gone with Bhuvneshwar Kumar. Yes, that's him. Someone who has been the backbone of this franchise for years. He has even captained the side. But I guess this is not something he rather cherishes much. I reckon he likes to just go about his business. He's leading their bowling attack. All of that experience ought to come in handy. He's quiet, unassuming and a crucial player in the Hyderabad ranks. He may be out of reckoning as far as the Indian setup is concerned, but don't take him too lightly because of that. Let's call on the next one then, Cup on the Block. I'm personally excited about this pick. We are, of course, uh, moved on from Old War Horse to Cub on the Block. That's right. I'm, I'm excited about this one because he's not exactly a young one, but Fazal Haq Faruqi is a gun player. He's one of the youngest guys on the squad and also quite raw as far as international exposure is concerned but shot into limelight on the back of a super performance for Afghanistan at the World Cup. If given a chance, he will look to grab it like his other Afghanistan players who have done so in different franchises. All right, let's get to the next one which is the Busy Bee. Uh, 
I'm going with the predictable one. This is Aidan Markram for Busy Bee. The South African batter was captain of the side. Was not the best outings here. In fact, he has enjoyed great success for the sister franchise at the South Africa T20 League. But yes, there is still that batting firepower that they will want him to deliver on. He's a great middle-order fix. And with the rest of the Indian batters in the ranks not having too much international experience, barring, of course, Amayank Agarwal, it'll be very important for someone like Aidan Markram to step up. And we're rounding this off. We're rounding it off with the king of the jungle. Yes, it had to be Pat Cummings. We're calling him the king. The media is calling him the king, thanks to the big bucks he's made. The management has proclaimed him to be the king, handing over the captaincy. But does Pat Cummins himself feel like a king? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Pat Cummins may have had great success as captain of the Aussie franchise in the longer formats. And again, limited to average success as a player in the Kolkata team as far as the T20 league is concerned. But does that all translate to him turning Hyderabad's fortunes around? Tough ask this. The last team today, and yes, it's been a ride, we are wrapping this preview up with Punjab and we'll start off with the old Warhorse. Shikhar Dhawan, the captain of this franchise, he has a lot to prove. Being out of the reckoning as far as the Indian setup is concerned, there is pressure on this batter. But the Southpaw is on the cusp of a year of reckoning for him. Adversity brings out the best in some and maybe this will do that for Dhawan. He has always led the charge at the top of the order in various franchises. And here too, he would look to do just that. It'll probably be Prab Simran at the top again to give him some assistance, but we'll have to wait and see. Moving on to Busy B. Sam Curran, he has to somehow harness that inner star boy to deliver for the franchise that won him back in a massive bidding charge. So, lot rests with him in that lineup that needs a bit of sparkle. Sam Curran was there in the Chennai setup too briefly and had quite a decent season, but can he do over from last year and ensure that this season with the Kings, he becomes the X Factor? We'll round this off with the King of the Jungle. Now, there are no surprises here. It has to be Kagiso Rabada. When used smartly, he can be the best bowler on any given day. He had a good World Cup outing for South Africa in November last year. And we say this because it has been the subcontinent conditions and he's carried that form through. He can do the job, both top and tail. May not have had a very fiery last season, but this year could be it. That wraps it up for us for the five teams. We will, of course, preview the remaining on Friday. That's tomorrow. The quest to be the best is here and it's a storm that's raging. Will the Lions script a dramatic win? Will the prodigal sons return, rock the boat or lead it to shore? Will the men follow the women to say e Sala Cup Namudu in 2024? Will it be a new team that will lay its hands on the golden trophy or will the experience smile their way to victory? Well, the biggest league in the world is here and First Sports will get you all the analysis, the big names, fantasy picks and all the buzz in our special coverage, T20 Summer Storm. Bring it on.